द सम ऑफ और द एवरेज ऑफ फर्स्ट हंड्रेड कॉन्जिकटिव फर्स्ट हंड्रेड कॉन्जिकटिव नैचुरल नंबर इज एक्स इफ द एवरेज ऑफ फर्स्ट हंड्रेड एंड टेन कॉन्जिकटिव नैचुरल नंबर इज एक्स प्लस के then find the value of k find the value of k it's a very easy question let us make it even more easy find the value of k now see here what they are telling is the average of first 100 consecutive natural numbers is x they are saying that average of first 100 One, two, three till etc. till hundred. This average is x. Next statement is saying that average of first hundred and ten natural numbers is x plus k. Average of first hundred and ten natural numbers one, two, three till hundred and ten. This is x plus k. You need to find the value of k. What is the k value in the question? What is the k value in the question? Now. For all the people who who are getting the answer as a ten, please check your calculation, sir. That is the reason I always suggest to students not to be in a hurry. If you be, if you are very very fast in getting the answer, and ultimately you end up getting the answer as wrong answer, it really does not make any difference, right? Please check your calculations. Now see here. Let us do step by step. Step number one. What is x? X is nothing but average of first hundred natural numbers. It is an arithmetic progression. It is first term plus last term divided by two. It is one plus hundred by two. Right? Let us not simplify further. Let it be like that. What is x plus k? X plus k is nothing but first hundred and ten natural numbers. It is first plus last term by two. One plus hundred and ten divided by two. If I simplify, one plus Hundred and ten can be written as hundred plus ten divided by two, right? Hundred plus ten divided by two. Now observe carefully. One plus hundred by two. One plus hundred by two is nothing but x, right? That is nothing but x plus ten by two. Ten by two is nothing but five, right? Ten by two is nothing but five. X plus k is equal to x plus five. In place of k, what value you have? In place of k, you have five. That means answer for this question is k is equal to five, right? X plus k is equal to x plus five. In place of k, you have five. Answer is k is equal to five, right? Now this is one method which you can implement to get the answer. By using the definition of averages, the average definition is first term plus last term by two. This is my method one. You can tell the answer by using method one, and you can get the answer by using definition of averages. This is one of the method what you can implement. Now, listen to this carefully, sir. Listen to this carefully. Second method. Everyone listen to this carefully. Method two. But before solving method two, I will take a similar kind of example with smaller numbers. Then we will use the same analogy to find the average of the given question. Now see here. Suppose, for example, average of one, two, and three. Average of one, two, and three middle value is two. Now what I will do is, original series is having three terms. Original average is two. I will increase the original series by one more term. If I increase by one more term, it becomes one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four average is first plus last by two. One plus four by two is two point five. Right? It is two point five. Again, what I will do is again I will increase the average original series by one more term. It becomes one, two, three, four, five. Average of one, two, three, four, five is nothing but middle value three. Right? It is nothing but the middle value three. Now, everyone, listen to this carefully, sir. Please listen and understand carefully. Original series is having three terms. My original average is two. 
I increased by one more term, right? I increased by one more term. I got a 2.5. This 2.5 can be written as 2 plus 1 by 2. 2 plus 1 by 2 is 2.5 itself. Similarly, this 3 can be written as 2 plus 2 into 1 by 2, right? 2 plus 2 into 1 by 2. Here also it is 2 plus 1 into 1 by 2. Now listen to this carefully. Original series is having 3 terms. Original series is having 3 terms. Original average is 2. If I increase by 1 term, this becomes 1 into 1 by 2. If I increase the original series by 2 terms, this becomes 2 into 1 by 2. If I increase by 3 terms, that becomes original average plus 3 into 1 by 2. In general, if I increase by, if I increase by n terms, this becomes n into 1 by 2. Right? It becomes n into 1 by 2. I hope it is clear. Now come back to the question, whichever we have written in the previous question, by which we solved by using method 1. The question is, average of, average of 1, 2, 3 till 100, this is x. Average of 1, 2, 3 till 110, it is x plus k. Find out k value of the question. Now see here, no need of any definitions or whatever it is. Same analogy. Earlier you were having 100 terms, now it is becoming 110 terms. That means you have increased by how many terms? 10 terms. If I increase by n terms, it is n into 1 by 2. If I increase by 10 terms, it is 10 into 1 by 2. What should be the answer? 5. That is what you got it in method 1 also. I hope it is clear, sir. That is what you got it in method 1 also. Now see here. Try to tell me the answer for this question without using pen. I am sure you can tell me the answer. Average of, average of 1, 2, 3 till 120, it is x. Average of 1, 2, 3 till 180, it is x plus k. What is k value? How much should be k value, sir? Please answer. I will be waiting for your comment. What is k value? Try to tell the answer without using pen. I am sure that you can answer it once you have understood the key point. Average of first 120 natural number C is X. Average of first 180 natural number sir, is X plus K. What is K value? Very good to see that many students are already getting the answer. Answer should be 30 because... Earlier 120, now 180. So it is 60 terms addition. If I, I increase by 60 terms, it is 60 into 1 by 2. 60 into 1 by 2 is how much? It is 30. K value is 30.